Thank you, Mrs. Donio. You surely made it easier for us to see the moonlight along the Wabash. 
even in this broadcasting studio, which is only three blocks in the Wabash River. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Wilfred Marone has consented to play for us the Versuvienne. This is a dance similar in character to the polka. In the early days, it was quite popular in France and was often danced at the Tuileries in Paris. Somehow, Varsuvian strayed across the Atlantic Ocean and eventually landed here in Vincennes. Many of the great-grandparents of today's Vincennes citizens danced the Varsuvian. They came in from their farms out Catholic Road, some on horseback, some in ox carts, but they came. In midwinter each year, they held the king's ball. This affair was like a great family reunion. The young were full of love and the old were full of memories. When the howling blizzards outside let up for a moment, while the fiddler's bow arm took time out for a rest, in the ballroom, then one could, one could sometimes hear the big clock in the old cathedral spire booming out the hour. I see Mr. Marone is ready to get along with us to the end. <laughs> Mr. Marone. I hope when this war is over, when the wax and the waves and the G.I. Joes get back home and they hear you play the Vesuvian, I say I hope you will meet the demand that the King's Ball be revived. It might be interesting to you, ladies and gentlemen, to know that the old French of Vincennes not only danced to the fiddle, but they saw strange goings on along the Wabash. For example, there was a sailor squirrel, or the squirrel the tail for a sail. Ever hear of it? Well, down about point Chan, below Vincennes, an old Frenchman one day was wandering along the river. Presently, he saw a squirrel come down to the water's edge and leap aboard a clapboard. He saw that squirrel hoist its tail like a sailor man would a sail and deliberately tack out across the river. Using its tail for a sail, the squirrel sailed the Illinois side and snubbed the clapboard into the mud bank. The squirrel went ashore and disappeared in a farmer's cornfield. The old Frenchman sat down and waited. After a while, he saw the squirrel trot out of the field, carrying an ear of corn in some hot paws. He went aboard the clapboard, hoisted its tail, as it had done before, and sailed back across the Wabash. On reaching the Indiana shore, that squirrel, sailor squirrel snatched up an ear of corn and scampered to a high knot hole in a sycamore tree. In a little while, the old Frenchman saw a corn cob fly out of the hole. He walked to the tree and saw that more than 25 wagon loads of corn cobs heaped around the trunk of that sycamore. He and some others cut down the tree and found was full of the knot hole of shelled corn, good Illinois corn, which that sailor squirrel had sailed across the river on a clapboard while using its tail for a sail. Ladies and gentlemen, the wild animals around Vincent were very, very smart in those early days. I see Mrs. McQuaid is ready to sing Grand Mare Supplant. But I'd like for you to explain it to us first, Mrs. McQuaid. Captain Van Eyre, this is a story of a little girl who is asking her grandmother why she is crying. And she tells her that it's because she is thinking of her grandfather, who many, many years ago was eaten up by the wolves. <laughs> Yeah. 
Thank you, Mrs. McQuaid. You sang that sorrowful song most beautifully. You have proved to me that all the squirrels, or even the wolves, rally were mighty ornery. And now Mrs. Donio has a song called Alouette. Mrs. Donio, I'd like you to tell us about that song before you sing it. Why, uh, Captain, this, I think it's the song of the meadowlark. And they tell an amusing story that during the king's ball, <clears throat> all the women of the parish gathered to pick the fowls for the feast. And as they picked, they sang this song. And the faster they sang, the faster they picked. What a plucking those birds did get. And you did a fine job of singing about them, too. Now I want to thank Mrs. Donio, Mrs. McQuaid, and Mr. Malone for coming to the studio today to give us a peek into the carefree life that was lived here in old Ben Sands in the long, long ago. My thanks also to, to WAOV. Next Sunday being the Sunday preceding the 25th anniversary of the founding of the American Legion, which was founded in Paris, France, March 15, 19, and 19. We will present Mr. Floyd L. Young, who is a past state commander of the Indiana American Legion. Mr. Young will speak with the work of the American Legion during the past 25 years. So until next Sunday, this is the Vincennes American Legion inviting all honorably discharged veterans of the present World War to join the Legion and saying, buy more war bonds, back to the attack. The Public Service Department of WAOV, in cooperation with the American Legion Post Number 73, has presented the American Legion program under the direction of Captain F.M. Van Etter. We invite you to tune in again next Sunday at the same time.